In this video I'm going to show you guys a portal gun I made in Unity and I'm not going to go through the code and write it with you, I'm just going to explain it uh, and then you can find the code attached in the description of the video. So here's what we got, it's like from the game Portal, if you haven't seen it or played it you should. Um, so when I click, it, the uh, you know these blobs go there and the idea is when you go in one of them um, you come out the other one and it's the same speed as as you came in so if I'm going fast here then I'm shot out this red one and there's little puzzles and uh, puzzles that you can do with that uh, there's also slanted surfaces it works just fine on that too um, yeah and any kind of shape any anything at all like this it uses the normal of whatever you clicked on to, to well I wasn't moving fast there but yeah and if I could finally get going fast here, I didn't actually make it max speed. So sometimes you can. Come on, you know you want to. There we go. So you can eventually get going faster and faster. If you, yeah, can shoot the right spot. So we'll look at the code to do that. I've got two scripts. Well, first, uh, you have to create two portal objects. They could be any model at all. Uh, but they do need to have a collider. And the collider needs to be is trigger. Both of them right here, is trigger. And you need to attach the portal script to both of them. Also, you need a player. Um, your player, like you know, like usual, has has these from the other videos. Uh, it also has the portal gun script attached to it. There's a max range, which is just really far, and the sounds if you want. Um, I also made a small change to character motor because I had to, uh, and I'll explain that. So we'll look at the code now. First, the portal gun. Here's the code for that. Um, let's see, when we start, we're going to find the portals is going to be, it's an array up here, an array, and it's going to find all the portals in the game. And if there's less than two or more than two, it gives you an error, they really must be two. Every frame, it's going to check, are we clicking, let's left click or right click, zero and one. If we're left clicking or right clicking, then we're going to do this. We're going to take the position of the camera, is position, and we're going to make a variable to hold this information for a raycast. So the way the raycast is going to work is this is me, this is my player. We're going to take this position here of our player where our eye is, our camera. We're going to do a raycast in the direction that we're looking. So we're going to start here and we're going to travel until maybe we hit something. So that's what this line is here, line cast. So we're going to start at position where our eyes are. We're going to add, um, take the position, add the direction we're looking times our range. And that collision will be stored in this and we can then use it. So I'm then going to say, well, am I left clicking or right clicking? So is it zero or one? And then we're going to move to that portal. Or we're going to move that portal. And now all the other code is in portal, this script. So when we start, we find the player, we find that information, set up the audio. Now this is when we detect that something went inside us. The portals, like I said, they have to be is trigger, is on. So that lets us do on trigger, enter. And when this happens, it could be anything. It could be a bullet, a monster, a player. So we have to check, is the, ga the game object of the collider that, that hit us? Is it our player? Um, I'm also checking are we disabled? Have both portals been moved? Because right at the start, you can't use them yet. 
So if all that's good and it's the player and everything's good, then we're going to move the player to this portal. And when we do that, we set a disabled timer because we don't want to immediately go back in what we just came out of. We need to get our exit velocity. So this is going to be the normal of the portal. So the red portal, it's normal is going to be this. It's the normal of, of the wall that it hit. So when I shot the portal, I found out what's the normal, the, the line sticking straight out from the wall that hit it. And the normal here is this. So if I go into this portal, into the blue portal say, and I'm going really fast this way, it's going to take that speed and I'm going to come out in this direction at the same speed though. The, the length of the green line here is the same length of this green line here. So that's what this is, is we're taking the normal, we're multiplying it by the magnitude of the length of the green one, and we're setting our velocity to that. We also need to set our position. And I don't, if I go into this portal, I don't want to come out right here, because I'd be inside the wall, there's funky issues. So I actually want to be here plus a little bit over. So using the normal again, just a little bit. That's what this is. We're going to take the position of our portal, but also plus the normal times 2, like just a little bit, and set our position to that. We need to disable input. And this was something that we need to do with the character motor. Uh, otherwise, you can move in the air, and it gets confused. It thinks, it thinks we're jumping or not jumping, and I had to change this, actually. Um, and that's actually about it. You know, you're gonna move when you move the portal. Um, it needs to move itself, play the sound, and really the last thing is in character motor. Um, I made this small change here. This used to be not public, so nothing outside character motor could change it. But I needed to make it public so that I could turn it off. I also added this line down here. So this is so once we hit the ground, we turn the controls back on. I also had to change mouse look to negative 90 so you can look straight up and down. And there's the portal, portal gun. Wah! Madness!